Well, certainly no pressure there <laughs> as we try to watch that clearing line. But yeah, so many folks already out right now. One of the places to be to get today to get all that fun and excitement is the Rochester Museum and Science Center. Yeah, James Gilbert, our meteorologist, took off early after sunrise to see about <laughs> the crowd starting to show up. And there he is. Hey, James. Hey, uh, good afternoon as uh, we enjoy this incredible event. I've seen so many buses come here to the Rochester Museum and Science Center. They just keep unloading thousands and thousands of people building. I've got my friend Zoe here. Zoe, how are you feeling today? Good. Are you excited for the eclipse? Yeah. So what can we expect to happen this afternoon? The moon will come in front of the sun. And, and, and then everything gets completely dark, right? Is, is that, isn't that so strange? Yeah. Uh, so where are you coming from? Jersey City. Jersey City. So how was that travel up into Rochester? Good. And it looks like there's been a lot of people uh, coming around. Have you gone into the museum yet? No. Is that the plan on the plan for today? Yeah. What are you excited to see in the museum? Everything. Everything. I love it, too. It's a great spot. So glad you came to Rochester, Zoe. Thank you for coming and talking to me. Zoe's family is here as well, uh, enjoying the event. And uh, there's so much to do here. You've got the food trucks. You've got the museum as well. The planetarium is going as well. And uh, come on down and join us uh, throughout the event. Eric's got some great news. I'm glad to hear that. It's interesting to look at the clouds because you can still get a little faint view of the sunshine. You put the glasses on and hey, there's the sun. So there has been no point in which you could not see the sun at all. That is good news. We're reporting out here all day long. I'm going to send it back to you, Brendan and Michaela. Oh, that's fun. <laughs> Love it. Thank you, James.